Hello everyone, welcome to my NASAC YouTube channel. In my previous video, I showed you how to install Ubuntu Desktop Docker using Portainer and how to access it from your browser. This was based on a GitHub project, Docker Ubuntu VNC Desktop. I was able to show you step by step how to use in Portainer to build a Ubuntu VNC desktop in the cloud. In this video, I'm going to further, I'm going to install Nginx to as a reverse proxy stand in front of this Ubuntu desktop Docker. And I'm also going to use insert bot to sign SSL certificate and using HTTPS with a subdomain to access to it. Previously, we have to use import 6080 to access to it. I already created a domain A record to set up no VNC.51 sector.org to point to the public IP of this virtual machine. So we can see there's two Docker running, one called the NoVNC, one is Portainer. So this is Portainer Web GUI. So we can go to command line to do whatever we need to do for that Docker. We also can see the memory usage, CPU usage, and the network usage. That is why I'm using Portainer for this deployment because it gives me clear pictures how much memory CPU network use using by this Docker. So let's start with today's lab. We're going to deploy Nginx into this VPS, same as we did for Portainer and NoVNC. We're going to add container. I'm going to name it as Nginx. So we're going to pull up image from Nginx latest. We're going to publish two ports. One is 80 and the map to 80 on Nginx. Since we're going to use insert bot to issue a let's encrypt certificate, so we're going to use in port 443 as well. So that's the only thing you need to do. Uh, if you want, you can change the restart policy to always. After that, just deploy the container. In a couple of seconds, this dock should be up and running. To verify that, we can accessing a subdomain, no VNC dot 51sec.org It's not HTTPS, it's HTTP since we didn't use insert bot yet. So now we can see welcome to Nginx. So the next step, what we're going to do, we're going to go into Nginx container and configure Nginx as a reverse proxy to proxy the traffic to Linux Ubuntu VNC desktop service. What we're going to do is we're going to do apt update. That will give us enough uh, latest package list. We can just do install nano which we're going to use it to configure the proxy service configuration in the Nginx configuration folder. After that, we can go to Nginx conf.d folder. There's a default.conf file already. So what we need to do is create a new configuration file. Using nano, I'm going to say no vnc.conf. The configuration I'm going to put in here already in my blog post. You can just copy paste. Only thing you need to change is the 
IP address, internal IP address for your VPS. So if you go to our IPS, we can check the configuration, IF config. We should have a bunch of uh, interface already, most of them for Docker, but we should be able to get uh, this ENS505 interface. So we have IP address 172.31.23.170. So that uh, IP we're going to put into our configuration. And uh, we are listening on port 80. And our server name is novnc.51sec.org. So once we receive the request for novnc.51sec.org, it will be passed to the proxy the server on 7231.23.170.60.80. So we're going to write save this configuration just double check all looks good and we can restart the engine like make sure service is started once you have the changes on the configuration so previously we used import 6080 to access to it. Now we don't need to do that anymore because we have reverse proxy settings there so we can directly visit it using our domain novnc.51sec.org. Refresh it. So I already HTTP basic authentication settings there. So this is for root account. If you watched my previous video and watch my blog post, you will know these settings. I enable that. So now I can connect into it using my browser directly using my subdomain, novnc.fifrancic.org. It's much easier to remember comparing to previously using port number 6080. We're going to go further. There's a if we're using this on a Google Chrome, Google Chrome is going to automatically transfer to the HTTPS. That won't work. And it's also HTTP won't be secure enough. If you want to deploy it into your production, uh, definitely you need to go to HTTPS. So that we're going to use in the third port. So this third port has a very great steps to install it in based on your uh, service web server and based on your OS system. And you can see it asking you to install SnapD first and then SnapD to install core and then, then you can start to install third bot. I tried it, doesn't work for me because we are running it in um, Docker. So there's a problem to start a snap as a service. After a little bit of research over the internet, and then I find a good way to do that. So here is what I'm going to show you. So we're going to connect to it. Go to the command line of the Nginx Docker. We're going to install third bot. We can directly go to install third bot. They were installing all dependencies. It's probably take um, one minute, one to two minutes to get this step down to install third bot. But that's not the only thing you need. You also need another component to get it working. So the second command to install third bot is install Python third bot Nginx. So install this plugin. It's kind of like third bot plugin for Nginx. So after you install that, only thing you need to do is third bot Nginx. So then they come up this typical questions to ask you what the email address you're going to use for this issue, the certificate. 
um, we're gonna using you can you put anyone there I'm gonna put in my email address here so and the list agreement TOS yeah of course you need to agree that so would you be willing to share your email address ah, that's fine so now the third bot found you already have a service for the no VNC dot sector running on port 80 so so which name would you like to activate HTTPS they want you to choose one if you have multi one then right now I only have one so just choose one so then they will automatically make the changes on your configuration engine configuration file so they finish the process now we are they are asking you another question do you want to redirect HTTP traffic to HTTPS so I just say redirect then it's done so we will see the full chain pen file has been put in here and private key has been put in this folder or has been added in and the configuration has been done we can check the configuration again you will see the difference so in the config we have a no vnc dot com file so you will see we are listening port 80 seven names here but uh, it's gonna go into HTTPS. This is server name, so it's a listen four four three. And uh, if anything come to port eighty, they're gonna return to four four. This is managed by third bot, and then actually they will go back to direct to the four four three. So we made a change, and then we're gonna do next step, which is restart the service. Okay, now we can try. Then we need to close this one. We need to try HTTP no vnc dot sec org. It shows no, not secure. We're gonna try HTTPS. So HTTPS is automatically prompt you this login authentication window so we're gonna do same this is the uh, HTTP basic authentication and uh, you can see this nice log icon over your URL that means your connection is queue you are using HTTPS and the certification is coming from let's encrypt it's and it's for novnc.fifrensec.org that you can see the issue is let's encrypt so that's pretty much what I want to show you today we enabled the HTTPS for our HTTP traffic on port 6080 we're using nginx to do reverse proxy and uh, third bot to issue a certificate hopefully this is useful to you please give me a thumb up and subscribe my channel thank you for watching